tweak of the week and today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem that I had on a website a number of months ago and what I wanted to do was have a fixed width Divi site when I was in desktop but as I went down in size to mobile I wanted that to fix up so that I didn't end up with the borders down the side and waste space on a mobile site. So let's jump in and I'll show you how we first of all get the fixed width. I'll show you what the problem is that we have with that fixed width on mobile um, and the space it's wasting and then I'll give you the little snippet about and where to paste it to solve the problem. So let's jump in. So the first thing we do is I've got a Divi website here and I'm going to go to the theme customizer. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go to my layout settings and enable the box layout and you can see I've got box layout here. Um, I've also got the same site loaded inside the Safari browser um, inside mobile just here. So I've got that and we can see that when I'm in the mobile size right now I've got this issue where I've got these spaces down the side and it might not look like much at this particular size but you know, it's not great. Um, you end up wasting a fair bit of space and I don't really want to do that. I want to use that space up. So the idea is that the space on this left and right side uh, will be removed. So I'll give you a bit more of a view here. So I'm going to enable my developer tools inside Chrome and I turn in responsive to an iPhone 5 and we can see again we've got the spaces if I go to a Galaxy S5. Again, space. Yeah, just not ideal. So we want to fix that and make sure that we end up with a full screen width when we're down at those small sizes. So I go into my dashboard and there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one way is that you can go into your child theme. Now I've created a child theme on this site and I'm going to paste in some CSS into the child theme. The other way to do it is to go to the Divi theme options. And in here, you've got the ability to paste some custom CSS down here. So if we go to our gist page right here with the media query that we're after, what this basically says is from 12,000 pixels down, we want the fixed box layout to not occur. Now this max width value at the top here will need to be adjusted depending on how wide you selected. Now I've got 1080, so what I'll do is change that to be just the sizes that I want that box to come out. Now my default was 1200 but in this case what I want to do is set it to 720. So from 720 down the page should be fixed. So let's save that change. That's now added in and when I refresh this now inside mobile you can see that those gaps immediately disappeared over there. So the problem has been solved. So if I view the actual website itself, I'll show you what the media query does. So you can see that at 720, the space disappears. So I'll go back into my developer tools here. And what I'm going to do is set this up here to be responsive. And I'm gonna set this, the width here to be 720. And you can see at that point, it, it cuts in. If I go to 721, I get the gutter back. 720, gone. 721, it comes back. So that's what that media query is doing. Okay. Now, if you wanted to paste this into your style.css file uh, for your child theme, you can do that as well. Okay. So as you know, you can you should be using child themes really, and we'll create a video series on that soon. But this is the tweak of the week, and this deals with having a full width for mobile and a fixed width for desktop using the Divi theme framework. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you for the next tweak of the week.